Hi everyone, welcome back. Now that we've added in the basics for creating a topic for our group, let's take a closer look at how we can manage the settings inside the settings tab when we're creating a topic. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on settings and now I can see all of the different settings that I can modify or manage. The first under topic, notice that I can set the topic status. Currently, it is set to active. Notice if I click the drop down, I could set this as a view only topic or I can hide the topic entirely. This is great if I am planning ahead and I don't want students to see the topic in the group yet. Now, another thing I can do is I can leave the topic status set to active and I can schedule the status. Right now, it's set to start being active today and never expire. But if I wanted to, I could change this and I could say that the topic is going to close, become view only as of the end of the month. That means that my students will only be able to add new video responses until the end of the month. Then, at that point, the topic becomes view only. They can only view responses. Notice that below the scheduled status, we can see moderate videos and comments. Currently, moderation is turned on. This is a great setting for you to secure the privacy of your students' responses. With moderation turned on, all videos submitted will receive hidden until you approve them and activate them. So this is a great way to ensure students' comments as well as student responses remain private, but it's also a great way to support our reluctant sharers as they can have the choice as to whether their video becomes active in the topic so that others can see it or remain hidden. Notice here we can adjust the recording time and we can adjust comments. So right now it's set to video comments only, which means that students would be able to reply to student responses with videos. Notice that we can set it to video and text comments or text comments only. With video and text comments, this allows students to leave a video reply on a student's response or a text reply on a student's response. This can be great for peer feedback. Notice that closed captions by default are set to English. If I want to change this for the entire uh, topic, I could choose different languages to set closed captions in. Let's click on response. Under response, I can allow attachment links. This would allow my students to add a link when they're submitting their response to a file attachment. Do I want my students to be able to download and share their videos? Maybe not, so I can turn that off. By default, likes on videos is turned off, but I also like to turn off display view count so that students aren't keeping track of how many times their video response is viewed. Next, we also have camera. By default, all three of the camera settings are turned on. I would leave all of them turned on so that students have access to all of the features inside the incredible Flipgrid camera to record their video response. Finally, we see guest password. This is completely optional. If you were using this topic to connect with um, an expert from outside in the community, you could turn this on and then set a guest password that you would share with that guest speaker. The guest speaker would then have access to add video responses inside the topic and view any responses that are active inside the topic. Let's leave this turned off for now. Once we've managed our settings, notice that we can save any changes to my default settings. Now let's go ahead and save to group and talk about the default settings. So this topic is ready inside the group, but let's go to our profile picture here and go to our profile. Here inside a profile, we can manage our default topic. With default topic, we can manage the topic settings. 
These are the current default topic settings that I have for topic, response, and camera. And notice that if I make any changes, I can update my default settings. What does default settings means? Well, it means that the next time I create a new topic for a group, these will be the settings that will automatically be for the topic. And then again, as you saw, I can manage and modify any settings as I please. Let's go back to the group and let's go to that topic. Once that topic is created, remember that I can also click on the pencil to edit the topic and then go to topic settings if I need to adjust or modify the topic settings. All you would do once you've made your changes is click update topic to ensure that those settings take hold.